Hello everyone, welcome back to Golden Funnel Spin. I'm back. I know I've been gone away for a while. I think my last video was two weeks ago and I, I really apologize for that. Thank you for sticking in with my channel, waiting until I came back. But those that you have followed me know that I've been doing a big move. I'm changing provinces. Well, I'm finally done. And in this video, I'm going to show you I have three albums that I recently picked up. One you probably never heard of because he's an indie artist that I met because he's an indie artist that I met at a music festival here in Nova Scotia, a place where I camp at at Fox Mountain Campground, a new event this year called the River Fest. Uh, it was called something else. It used to be in Bridgewater, but now they moved it to Fox Mountain Campground in Ellsford, Nova Scotia. And they had amazing, it was like two full days until, what was it? I was up one time right till three o'clock in the morning. And no band repeat. It was always a different band, so it was really cool. So I'm going to show you an album there that I picked up. But uh, we're set up here now. I'm going to show you my little room. My last location, all my records were in my dining room. The other location before that, they were all in my uh, living room. And I had a studio that was my spare room. But I decided this time, i kind of make this little, uh, well it's a record room kind of studio too. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. First we have the turntable, my first turntable that I really built. Uh, you guys all seen that before. And I decided to go with three shelves instead of my two shelves so that it's not as crowded when I'm picking through records. This was a really big pain to ship these. There's only probably about a thousand here, but anyone that's shipped records before know how hard it is. Uh, there's a painting there that I found at a thrift store. I actually tracked down the artist who uh, painted that. I know a little bit of detail. Someday I'll uh, go into detail on it. I finally got everything that I was laying around into my record room. All these that you're looking at here, they're not real records obviously, but for my 40th birthday, my daughter Becky, who has a YouTube channel, Becky P. Vlogs, made these up instead of 40 flamingos. She made 40 records of 40 different artists that she's seen in my collection she knew that I liked. So that's pretty well my room here. These here I bought, these are individual prints that I, I put together and uh, they're really cheap. It was like 20 bucks. And I bought frames for them uh, from, where was it? Uh, Michaels. And of course I finally got a picture of Becky when she met the lead singer to Green Day and uh, the rhythm guitarist as well. And I got my chair which was in the basement last time. I never really got to use it before. Now I finally get to use it. And then I have my setup over here as well. This is my main setup. This is my last turntable that I built. And I've been keeping the same amps and preamps and power amps and stuff like that. But before, this was actually laying on top of the cabinet that I had for this. And I never really got a chance to listen to it. So now I get a chance to switch from between the two turntables. I still have the cover, but I just leave it over to the side. My speakers are kind of big for this room. I'll probably get uh, shelf speakers eventually. But uh, yeah, that is my little listening room. Just because I'm on YouTube doing things about records doesn't mean I have a whole lot of records. You do not need a lot of records to enjoy listening to music. I only have about a thousand and I'm very picky of which records that I pick up because of the space that I have. So this is my little my little space. This chair I really like. It, it's old school. I can sit back. Well, I haven't did it yet. I'm supposed to be able to sit back put my feet up to listen to music but uh, this would be my first night that I stay in this house and uh, I'm not gonna listen to anything tonight but I'm looking forward to tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna listen to some stuff the three albums I'm gonna show you you've probably seen one laying down here already that I picked up 
since I moved here. This album I really wanted for a long, long time, but the price, it's interesting how geographical areas dictate how much of a price of an album is going to be. When it was in Ontario, it was close to $50. And then when I was in New Brunswick, it was like $45. Well, I finally seen it for $39. The price seems to be going down. This Neil Young one here, I really love the artwork of it. I love Neil Young's albums that he puts out. They're, they're amazing. What can I say? It's Neil Young. All right. I have not listened to it yet. I actually listened to it online when it first came out. And I, I Honestly, I forget what it sounds like. Here he is performing. Really cool photo. And of course it comes with a download code as well. It's just on black vinyl. But what is really cool is this album has really nice inners. It has that uh, plastic on the inside so it's not just paper. I really despise the paper uh, because it gives uh, paper fibers and stuff. I don't understand why they would pay so much for an album to be made and they charge so much and then they cheap out on the inners. I really don't understand that. It's one of my pet peeves. I hate it. I'm always changing them out unless I come by this and then I won't change this so but all the other ones I change out to mofi sleeves I, I just don't understand it I really don't this album jacket is amazing as well <clears throat> it's a little hard to get in there we'll keep it that way for now I'll fix it off camera it's really thick cardboard and it has a nice matte feel to it really amazing. Let me know in the comments what you think of this album, if you've listened to it yet, and uh, I'm curious to hear what you think. This next album that I picked up is called Pipes of Peace, and it's a Paul McCartney. I don't have many Paul McCartneys. In fact, I probably have about three, and I don't know why. A part of me uh, says, wants to say because I don't really care for the Beatles, but this is Paul McCartney. And when Paul McCartney did his solo stuff when he sang with the Wings, it was nothing like the Beatles. So I'm starting to give him a chance. And uh, I've seen this one, and it really helped that it had other artists on it. For one, he, Michael Jackson sings two songs with them. And Ringo Starr, the drummer's on it as well. I know some of you out there uh, really like Paul McCartney. I'd be interested to hear if you have any stories about this album. I'll, I'll look it up and uh, myself and see some history behind it. Uh, what's with the other people that are on the album. Some very interesting uh, characters there that are quite famous. This last album was from the River, River Fest. I got to meet him. Great guy. Now I cannot pronounce his name whatsoever. So I'm just going to show you. I practiced his name for a little bit when I when I met him, and when they introduced him. I try to remember it, but I could I could. I'm sorry. Now it's been a few days. I I cannot pronounce his name, but he's a great individual. One man band. He plays all these instruments himself. I don't know if you ever. It's not like a DJ thing. Uh, but uh, you know he'll play the electric guitar, uh, he'll get the drums going, he get a beat going, and then he has like a repeater or whatever. Uh, I don't know all the technical terminology behind it, but he gets all the instruments going and he also sings. Amazing voice. And he was the only one at this event that I went to, well out of the shows that I did watch, because I didn't watch all the artists but out of the ones I did watch had an album on on final the rest had CDs this is him here and he's out of Halifax Nova Scotia it also has a download code in it as well and is on beautiful white vinyl look at that two albums I'll just show you the one by beautiful white and this has been out for a while I believe I've seen it on there 2012 
So those are the three albums and this is my room where I'm at. I'm going to be going out and finding more records. I want to see what's in the market where I'm at now that I'm settled. The house is all unpacked. Uh, camping season is pretty well uh, it's pretty well ending. The cooler weather weather is coming in, and that's when I pick up looking for records. A lot of people go out summertime when it's uh, yard sale time. I have no success that time, and I really like camping and stuff like that and spend time with my family. It's the winter time actually when I start finding a lot of stuff. So stay tuned for that and I also have to do a review on the Groovinator. This is a con uh, concentrated version of a record uh, cleaning solution. It's called the Miracle Deep Cleaning Vinyl Record Potion and uh, I've been hearing a lot of reviews, great reviews on this so I got to get that done and I also have a record wand around here I can't remember the name off off my head here but I'm going to be doing a review on that as as well now I always made my own solution in the past and it's always been questionable whether it was the proper way of making solution because we're dealing with uh, isopropyl alcohol and uh, distilled water detergent stuff like that but I figured, what the heck, I'm going to give this a try, and apparently it makes a lot, and so I'm going to do a review on this, so stay tuned for that. And i also been picking up a lot more CDs. Yes, I said it's CDs. This is all I got right now, but uh, I've been picking up some when I see them. Mainly indie artists that I pick up, because a lot of indie artists don't really have uh, records out. But uh, I really like indie music, depending on the style of it, and they're hard to find. So I'll find them on, on CDs at thrift shops, and what the heck, two, three dollars, why not? I'll never get cassettes, though. Remember that. We'll see what happens in a year's time. No, seriously, I will never get cassettes. I tried cassettes years ago when I was a kid. People say cassettes are coming back. No way. No way, man. I, I don't see it. Years ago when I was a kid, every darn cassette player I ever had I used to eat my cassettes. And I'd be winding them up. Sometimes I have to tape them. No, I, I can't see it. I did, did about a year or two ago go on this. I did buy a whole whack. And then I bought a double cassette deck for the stereo. And then everything was fine in the beginning. And then the reminder came. My tape started getting eaten again. I'm like, Phew. I think I gave them away. Did I give them away? Yeah, I sold a few, but no cassettes. But I will buy the few CDs, but they have to be hard to find stuff, and stuff I cannot buy on record, because I am the record guy, Golden Vinyl Spin, right? So, thank you for sticking in there with me, guys, and ladies and gentlemen, I will start making a lot more videos now that I'm settled, and I look forward to reading all your comments down below. And if you have any ideas of videos that uh, you would like to see me do, some reviews on some things, or pull certain things out of my collection that you uh, maybe you think I have, and you, you and if I have them, you'd like to see them, let me know in the comments. I will do that. And until next time, thank you for watching Golden Fano Spin. Remember, keep spinning.